The goal of your footwork should not be to be as explosive as possible, to be as fast as possible. I believe the goal of your footwork should be to be as balanced as possible at all times. What do I mean by this? We've talked about how extension of the legs can affect your height, how it can affect your targeting, right? There's another aspect to the step, however, and that's where your weight is balanced over your legs. If you can kind of visualize or feel just sort of a straight line coming straight down out of your body and reaching the ground, out of where most of your weight is settling. You should feel that if you say lean back and stand on one foot, all of your weight goes down to that one foot if you're balanced correctly, right? Likewise, we go forward. Now I can feel more weight, more weight. How much weight do you think I have on my back foot at this point? Very little. And then I come up. Now I'm fully weighted. My center of gravity is straight down my body into that foot. So when we step, our center of gravity is sort of adjusting all over depending on where our torso weight is, where our head weight is, where our sword weight is, and where our legs are. All of these parts of our body apply mass, they apply weight to this unit that we are moving around when we're fighting, right? Just like when your legs are fully extended and locked into a position, and you have to now move or unlock them in order to begin stepping, if your weight is all the way at the extreme in any direction, we'll go with forward since that's what we were showing, in order to move in any direction from here, I must adjust my weight first. Say I want to step backwards. If I try to keep my torso here and step backwards, It simply is physically not possible because this is what's keeping my body up. I move this out of the way, where's my body gonna wanna go? Down. How do we compensate for this? We bring our weight back and then we bring our leg back, right? So if I'm really overboard, yes, this looks fluid, it looks okay. But keep in mind that even though there are instances that call for an attack that is delivered with your weight on the front leg, they are committed actions that can leave you vulnerable. You must have a plan for how you will defend yourself if your opponent attacks while you still have your weight forward. So one of the ways you can tell if you or someone else is overstepping and, and losing that balance that you're striving for is by looking at the feet after the step. If they have put too much weight forward, almost all the time will the back leg be rising up on the heel. Now there are some manuscripts, yes, that show this as a favorable footwork position. We're not talking about that right now. There are other situations we may want to be considering this in, but for now we're talking about somebody who's just trying a fundamental descending cut and ending with their back foot up. My weight is on my front leg. I cannot step now without first bringing my weight back. When you're stepping, try to end as balanced as you were at the beginning of your step. Right now I feel that I'm 50-50 balanced between both legs. I am 50-50 balanced between both legs. If you're not sure how balanced you are, try and take another step right after your step, but in a opposite direction, right? So if I'm stepping forward, a good way to know if I'm balanced is to step back immediately after stepping forward. If I'm balanced, it'll be trivial. If I'm not balanced, you'll feel it, you'll see it. I look like one of those inexperienced fighters in a tournament that can't control their body, can't control their blade. It looks like they're flailing their sword around without control. In reality, it's just that they do not have control over their own balance, their own center. If we isolate the hips down, they don't have to do anything crazy. They're just stepping forward and backwards. It's your torso and the balance of your body 
that affects your overall control over your action.